How's it going everybody? I'm back with another box break and this week I'm going back to the 90s with some Flair Series 1 from 1994. This was the second year that Flair produced their super premium Flair branded cards. Uh, I think at the time these packs were about $5. I want to say they were about 5 bucks. I might be a little bit off on that. But um, this was... Um, at the time, Ultra was their, their kind of premium card, uh, and this was an even more premium looking card. So, um, it, there's, I believe, 250 cards in the set. This is a Series 1. Uh, there's a few different inserts, uh, Wave of the Future, Outfield Power, and Hot Numbers. Uh, but that's, that's it. It's kind of simple, just like most series at the time, so even though it's a, kind of a premium card, but... Uh, there's 24 packs in here, and I think there's 10 cards per pack, so this isn't going to make an entire set, but uh, it should be pretty close, and I'm looking forward to opening it. So let's get started. So as you can see, uh, these packs are uh, different looking. They don't look like a typical pack. Alright, set that off to the side. This can seem kind of excessive on the packaging, but uh, I do remember thinking that these looked really cool. So yeah, there's 10 cards per pack, so we're going to be looking at, and there's packaging on the inside too. So we're looking at uh, 240 cards here. But, and you can see the uh, first card there is a uh, Sean Dunstan, the Cubs. So we have uh, Sean Dunstan, Tom Glavin, Wilson Alvarez, who is traded to the Giants, I think, two years later, or maybe three years, I think it was in 97, Brian Anderson, Scott Cooper, Harold Baines, Kurt Abbott and Dante Bichette and David Justice. So these cards are pretty thick for the era. That was another part of the uh, the premium card was that these would bend less. I think it's one of the first cards too that had three pictures of a player on the card. So it had two on the front and then also their picture on the back. So we got Albert Bell, Jeff Kent, Daryl Kyle, Chanho Park, Rod Henderson, Mike Derrick. No, I'm sorry. Mike Perez, Dave Henderson, Paul Molitor, Mike Jackson, and Danny Jackson.
got an insert card here. Oh, outfield power one, Gonzalez. Tom Henneke, Greg Hibbard, Tony Phillips, Ron Darling, Will Clark in a Rangers uniform, Albert Bell. And it occurs to me that I guess uh, we have one over here too. This is an Albert Bell outfield power insert. On the back here it just says that the inserts appear in a range of odds from 1 in 5 packs to 1 in 25 packs. So I guess that means there's one one of these inserts isn't even guaranteed in a box since there's only 24 packs per box. Dan Belinda, Solomon Torres, Todd Jones, Jay Bell, Bruce Ruffin. Uh, kind of a lousy pack there. Todd Zeal, Jeff Montgomery, Todd Stottlemyre, Mark Portugal, Kirk Reeder, Tim Wallach, Mike Maddox, Gary Sheffield. It's a much better pack. We have a Waves of the Future, Kurt Abbott. He looks 40 in this picture. So, <laughs> not much of a, a future. Wally Joyner, John Olerud, Darren Lewis. Mike Piazza. I guess it's not technically his rookie card. Alright, so we're a quarter of the way through here. O'Neill, Carlos Delgado, Royce Clayton, Marquise Grissom, Alex Fernandez. These are really nice looking cards and uh, I'm glad that they've held up and sure part of that's the packaging. And just the way they produce a lot of the the older sets, especially with like Ultra, um, when you open up the, those boxes now, sometimes the cards have all stuck together. But none of these are sticking together, and they look really nice. Twenty uh, twenty six years later, Brett Boone, Jeff Blauser, Cecil Fielder. Jim Tomei, I don't know, uh, they don't 
say what uh, cards are rookie cards, like they do now. Um, and I guess Donners at the time had rated rookies printed on the cards, but... Uh, so I don't know what technically qualifies as a rookie card for some of these players, but... I don't know, maybe that Piazza, maybe that Tomei were rookies. I'd have to look it up to find out. And I didn't bother looking up to see who the key rookies were. McGuire. I didn't look up who the uh, key rookies were. Griffey Jr. for this year. Portugal, so we already had him, so that's a duplicate. Kirk Reader. So like, this was a, a run here. That one in another pack. Mark Witten. Mike McFarlane. Joe Girardi. Dennis Martinez, Scott Erickson, the checklist card, another Solomon Torres, another Wave of the Future, Steve Carse. <coughs> now a pitching coach. Sanders, Dave Fleming, but not uh, the announcer Dave Fleming, Tino Martinez, Kurt Gibson, still playing in 1994, this had to have been his last year, Stan Javier, all right, that takes us halfway through this box. Joe Carter, Lenny Dykstra, Barry Bonds, Don Mattingly, it's the back. I do like that the, the uh, they got a really nice logo there in the, the gold embroidery. Delgado Wave of the Future, Tim Raines, Cal Ripken Jr., Ryan Sandberg, Greg Maddox. Dave Stewart, Kurt Manwaring, Pedro Martinez, Ozzy Smith,
Uh, we got another bonds here at the end. I'll just uh, go this way then. All right, Alfield Powerberry Bonds. Phil Plantier. Terry Steinbach. Alan Trammell and Kirby Puckett and Dennis Eckersley. So finish out that pack. Bunch of Hall of Famers right there. Mark Leiter. Ryan Klesko, Chris Hoyles. All right, just a few more packs to go here. Another Barry Bonds outfield power. Mike Kelly. Ellis Burks. Dave Stanton, Wave of the Future. Stanton, Wave of, Wave of the Future. Did any of these guys ever make it? Oral Hershiser. Dwight Gooden. Darren Dalton. Another wave of the future in here. Javier Lopez. And a Javier Lopez wave of the future. So there's one guy who made it. Javier Lopez. Having a nice career with the Braves. Alright, we've got Bo Jackson. Juan Gonzalez. here haven't gotten a hot numbers insert so that must be the uh, the short printed difficult to get insert all right team salmon move on Chris Sabo, Fred McGriff, it's a nice looking card, Jeff Bronski, oh and then here we are, a hot numbers for Mike Piazza. Alright, last pack here.
Hector Carrasco, Carrasco, Danny Darwin again, Jeff Conine. Well, not a good pack to end on, but uh, overall, uh, this is a really enjoyable product to open. Uh, some nice insert cards with the Piazza and the two berry bonds. Uh, just well designed and uh, fun to open. Uh, and uh, next month I'll, I'll probably open series two, so you can look forward to that. But uh, for now, that's it, and I hope you enjoyed.